Hi, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Awakening of Onyx. In the last video, we found our way to Dungeon 7. We started making a little bit of progress. We haven't really found anything here yet. No dungeon item, no heart container, no crystal skull yet. And we're currently facing off against Goma to start off this video. I hope this isn't how they uh, plan on increasing the difficulty in this dungeon, because these bosses aren't too tough. To be honest, I'll take them over a room full of dark nuts and whiz ropes as well. But we're still making some progress through this dungeon, so we're going to continue on. Take out these Garayas and see what lies down these stairs. I'm hoping I can make it through this dungeon in one in this video. I mean, we still have dungeon 8 and 9 to get through after this, so... Don't want this series to run into too, too many videos. I try to keep them pretty short. Um, it's kind of just a fun pastime for me, so... Need to be able to edit these and everything while I'm working. Definitely a lot easier to get through Zelda Outlands when uh, everyone was kind of locked up at home and had nothing better to do than record and edit videos, but now that I've been back to work for the last couple months or so, um, it's been tougher to get to these, so... Having them in like little 10 minute bite sized pieces makes it a little bit easier to get through them, that's for sure. Alright, this guy wants the pineapple in this game. these rooms. Glad I have enough rupees. If you didn't have 50 rupees, it would cost you a heart container to get through there. <laughs> Had to get another mini boss, I guess. Oh, that was the, uh, red candle. So now we can light multiple fires in a screen. Don't have to light one fire, leave a screen, and come back anymore. So that's very nice. So I'm guessing that's going to be our dungeon item. At least the first one, if there's going to be two. But we've now found something in this dungeon, so that's helpful. I have to check literally everything in these dungeons, because some of these walls you can bomb through, some of them you can walk, just walk through the walls. move is going to be. I mean, if it won't let me walk through one of these walls, I might have to start trying to bomb some of them. Now, I think we just went through the wall here. I don't think we've been through the top of this room yet. But as you can see, we're making use of our new candle. Burning some bats. It won't 
won't let me go through that way. Okay, let us through this wall. Let's see if that gets us anywhere important. So far we've seen all the rooms in the bottom of the dungeon, we just need a way to progress upwards. Okay, there's our compass. So our crystal skull we're looking for it appears to be not even on the map. Yeah, it looks like we can bomb that uh, north wall. Just have to take care of these bats first so we can uh, move this brick. Just have to check these walls as well. So if we reset the room, we can move that brick. Um. Oh, can we move it a different way? I feel like we'd have to enter this room from another direction to be able to get up to that north wall. Huh. That makes things a little tougher. So we have to be able to bomb through one of these side walls. If we can't get into this room from another direction, then we can't get up. Of course, that just adds one more layer to the whole puzzle. Because now we have a new room with a new door. And of course, up here, there's a stairway, so... We have all sorts of directions we can go in right now. this carefully to get this garage stuck somewhere where we can hit him. That's nah, not helpful. You can use a bomb to get him. Making it to the top of the dungeon now. <clears throat> of course, after doing so well this far, we're going to take all sorts of damage with those things. So we have another Goma here to take out. It's okay, these things really aren't that difficult. You just have to dodge back and forth and just time your shots with the bow carefully. I mean, unless you're running out of arrows or something. Usually, they're not going to be uh, too much of a challenge. Alright, so, manhandle it next. Well, we've really faced quite a few bosses in this one little dungeon. <laughs> 